YouTube. I have new merch. Click the link in the description. You can get t-shirts and sweatshirts, and there are three different designs. I don't know what else to say. Look, here I am. <laughs> okay, so obviously falcons are not magnetic, so I've got to figure out a way to mount this to the back of a bird somehow safely. All right, let's get to work. Thanks to the community, we managed to connect with Maya Higa, who's a Twitch streamer and also a falconer. And she managed to give us a lot of really insightful and useful information, including connecting us with the falconry experience based out of Paso Robles, just a few hours outside of LA, making it really convenient for us to be able to go work with these birds. But before we get anywhere on this, we have to figure out a way to actually mount this camera to a falcon. We have two days Goose. to figure this out. How do you put a camera on a bird? We are taking our lead from Maya. Ori. She actually emailed over some photos of her falcon. I think his name is Orion. Look at, look at how cute he is. So Maya says that they have these little backpacks to carry a GPS transmitter so that your bird doesn't get lost. I think it's even part of like state law or country law. Galactic bird law. law. No. Bird law. It's, it's actually part of bird law. But this is perfect because I was able to buy the exact same harness that she uses on her falcon. So I'm going to try to keep this as the main interface his backpack the falcon and just build that's what his backpack looks here. like i don't want to like change this much like if if i if i add like some extra stuff to the back of this i'm worried that Gall, might you're, be uncomfortable for the right. falcon like i just don't know i've never worked with falcons before <laughs> this guy is really cool because he can i was a little bummed it, honestly like, literally stick it because i did watch this earlier i watched this yesterday or today wash off yesterday and then it gets more sticky again if i'm going to utilize this i have to make some modifications i'm being very very careful not to get my fingers cut as he's like not watching. <laughs> no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, good, we're good. Okay, so I've now reduced that whole thing to this little little chunk. Is that's getting there. That's getting very very close. So this is pretty much it. This is supposed to go on the back of a falcon and hold a camera. Okay, there actually is one more thing I got to do here. I got to figure out how to cut the magnet out of this. The back of this acts as like a heat sink and you don't want to film for longer than like 10 minutes otherwise this starts getting really hot. Damn. The problem is that the back of this, the magnetic actual latch here, is gonna stop a lot of that heat transfer. But if I cut out the magnet, how will it sit in there? Well, I'm just gonna take a zip tie. How do the backpacks zip ties expand? Honestly work very well. I it's just love ribbon, Riz. It's, it's not like super tight. I'm gonna make like it to the backpack and then we'll put the backpack on the falcon. So when it's actually flying, this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look just like this. It's not gonna be the most elegant looking flying camera, but it'll get you the best looking falcon footage anyone has ever seen. And that's why I'm excited about this. Ren, what happened? You have that look. Uh, I feel so uh, bad, because that was yeah, probably after the call that we had. really easy just to put had. on off of a bird, you know, like, it's called a backpack. I thought you just put it on the shoulders, take it off, no big deal. No, apparently these things only get taken off every two or three years. Sorry, I should have <laughs> told, should have said that. I have no idea. That's fine, but that does mean that the mount I made and the solution I had isn't going to work. So I need a more portable, temporary solution to mount the camera to an existing- Here's the deal. I thought because he got the backpack and I sent him the clip that we used, I just assumed that he would do a clip for the camera. I didn't think it would be super glued into a backpack, but I just didn't think about it. Back already on any bird. But secondly, these birds need practice with the weight of the camera and the shape of it on their back. And that is something that we can't quite deliver right now. We've only got this one camera and we can't send it to him yet. So what we're actually going to do is build a replica from scratch that weighs the exact same amount as the actual camera and send that to him ahead of time. So I'm gonna get the help of Nat to actually design and print an exact replica of this camera for the Falcons to practice with. I modeled a, a duplicate of it in Fusion 360 that has a giant void in the middle of it that allows me to put in weights. So it's going to be mostly aerodynamically the same and it's also going to be weight-wise the same. The reason why this has to be exactly the same weight is because birds are very uh, birdy. We gotta basically replicate the experience as close as physically possible, even have the whole aerodynamics down with the lens. I'm actually pretty proud of this little solution here. I literally just took a paper clip and turned it into this harness. I soldered the uh, another paper clip thing to the side of it here, so it's like actually kind of welded. Remember on. when he did this? He was like, "Okay, can you show me what the clip looks like? Do you have the diameter of the wire?" I was like, 
I have no idea, like, what the diameter of the wire is of that thing. And he's like, is it, like, a paperclip? And I was like, yeah, about that. And he's like, so could I use an actual paperclip? And I was like, theoretically, if you could bend it like that. And he's like, okay, I'll just do that. So you have this clip here, <laughs> you have the backpack, you squeeze this together, and it should go right in. Boom. That's not coming out. So from here, I'm basically just going to JB weld to attach it to the little case here. Has it been two hours yet? No, it's been three seconds. No, Red! This should work well. It's definitely a jury-rigged solution. It's janky, but I think it'll work. And I think we'll actually be able to use this to get one-of-a-kind footage that I have never seen before. I'm gonna pack it up, put it in this box, we can ship it out to them so that they can spend the entire next week getting their Falcons used to the weight of this camera on their back. So while the Falcon is practicing, let me take a moment to explain why the Go 2 has become one of my new favorite cameras. Wow. Insta360 really did put a lot of thought into this product. Like, there's a case which obviously protects the camera, but it also is a charging case because it charges it like three times over. This is what you get if an action camera and AirPods had a baby. And on top of that, it actually acts as like this remote, so you can press these buttons to change settings, start recording. It's got these little legs that pop out, so you can put it down on the table and get your little TikToks like like you do. <laughs> and and it's like you can continue using this like I can just put on the freaking scissors <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of wireless connections this can connect to your phone uh, yep there it is uh, and I can set it to vertical or horizontal it, it lets you choose you can make it square for Instagram I mean look at this crazy and it can stick to the back of my iPhone here oh dude <laughs> your face you've got a huge nose right now <laughs> oh my god it stabilizes the horizon so as I do this it doesn't actually move and it's the craziest when you throw it in front of a mirror look at this Wow. yeah stabilization it's awesome and once you actually get the footage onto your phone you can like you don't even have to edit you can literally like select clips and automatically select the best moments from your clips combine it with music and edit it on the beat it's pretty wild so also this camera is waterproof check this out <laughs> hi <laughs> I love, this is like my favorite camera right now because it is so convenient. If you want to get one of these yourself or learn more about it, check out the link in the description. So I think with all of this, I think I am finally prepared enough to go to the falconry experience and put this on the back of a falcon and get some really cool footage. I don't know what to expect. I'm just excited to be around some really cool birds of prey. <sighs> all right, let's head out there. Before we get to this part, they did a lot of petting of birds of prey. I don't like that. I don't pet birds of prey. They don't, I, I, I've never known a bird of prey to like it. So I do think that was a little strange, but not my birds. I don't know. We made it out to the falconry experience here in Paso Robles. This is Anita and Sammy, and we're gonna work with their birds of prey. How many different kinds of birds do you guys have? 10 different species. Oh, not at all for Corridor. They don't know. That's not what I'm talking about. Corridor is not, no fault to them whatsoever. Wow. We have. Parasocks, we have a sacred falcon, we have a lanner falcon, a Eurasian eagle owl. He's so soft. This is Sammy. softer than those like fancy soft blankets at the store. I know, right? We have a bald eagle. Yeah, hang on, I know. It's your... <laughs> not, not the most graceful bird. I never expected to be slapped in the face by a bald eagle, and yet here we are. <laughs> Tell me more about the uh, education side of things that you do. Um, we try to do things with the kids to get them more engaged in their environment, to get them to go outside. We're trying to inspire kids, this next generation, to get outside, look around, be it more observant than what's going on on your screen. Right, okay. So Goose is the Saker Falcon. And how old is Goose? Goose is two, two. going on three. Let's go say hi yeah, to Yeah, I've worked Goose. with bald eagles before. Goose is wearing a, a helmet. Falcons are so sight stimulated that to keep them calm before we fly, we put the, the hood on, covers their eyes, but um, he knows that when that comes off, it's time to fly. It's time to fly. So it's kind of a conditioned response. How fast does Goose go? I think the fastest he's dove was like 75, 80 miles an hour. That's so fast though. <laughs> it, is, it is like, think about like you're in a car, you're speeding down the freeway, but you're coming straight at the ground. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very funny way of putting it. Well, I say, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get this thing on him. He's worn it a few times now, so. Okay, yeah. He's gotten a little bit used to it. So, I mean, that was the entire reason we sent this to you ahead of time. I'm, yeah. I'm so glad that worked out. Did you want to do the honors <laughs> on, on, on your bird? <laughs> there we go. That, you make that look so easy. Did you want to set that one on? Yeah. 
This is the closest I've ever been to a falcon. We're doing a flyby. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is it. Good luck, Goose. Goose. So oh, fast. Flying so much better. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> You're tired already. Oh, no. Yeah, like, how much energy does it take to be able to just fly? Like, right. Like, I'm going to use my arms to propel myself into the sky <laughs> with these big chest muscles. Are you tired? The problem that we're having is, A, the camera's a, he's kind of trying to figure out what's mm -hmm. on his back. Um, and it might be interfering with his wing stroke, so we'll try it again. Okay. But also, there's no wind. Right. Yeah. yeah. And they give Riz, the I agree. One hundred percent. I I okay. Yeah. So in the afternoon it gets a little bit breezier here. Okay. And it's like not at all for the bird, actually, you know? Like he'll for the, the person. wind and he'll let it float him away and then he'll work the wind to get gotcha. up and down and so we'll see how he does. So you know that classic yeah, example I know. of throwing a football. That's that was the worst scooped arms. <laughs> you do that with a hawk. Hi! Aren't you cool? All right, so we have put the camera on this hawk here. His name is Ranger. Ranger is, uh, he's a funny bird and he loves to like play games. Ranger's a superstar. The more star. we get with the things that we do with him, the more entertained he gets. He loves just being goofy. So we challenge him on a daily basis. All right, we're good to go. Yep. All right, we're good. <laughs> That's such a crazy feeling because they're so silent and it's just like a Ranger. gust of wind. Yeah. And you'll see he shoots his feet out forward as he comes through. Just oh, seeing those claws like come out time. like ahead of time, like already scouting his landing. All right, now that it's been a couple hours, we're ready to fly again with both Goose and Kaido. They, they literally look like fighter pilots too with those helmets. Okay, Goosey man, we got a little bit. No, they don't do rehab. Wanna fly? They do abatement. And then uh, right, here's the, the falconry moment. experience. So they have people come out and yeah, catch birds. Attaboy. Yeah, goose. goose. He's a pretty low flying bird, isn't he? Look at that. <laughs> no. Hey, how you doing, friends? We got a uh, we got a first AC. <laughs> That's amazing. You're first for me? From Northern Africa, yeah. So that's her figuring out how to focus. There we go. What's making this possible is the fact that the camera is so lightweight, but it's still looking like it's not quite small enough. Well, I mean, if you think about it, like a 30 grams would be like adding probably another 10 pounds onto you. Here. <laughs> it's literally like watching a puppy play with a ball. Come on, bring me the ball. Yeah, space, I agree. Just, Can I have it now? I guess the only other thing that I'm really interested in getting is just yes. some altitude. Oriana. If we go by the riverbed where that hill is, well, you'll get her diving down the hill. I say we try the hill. I don't think anyone's ever really gotten any decent footage on the back of a falcon before. I, is, I can this... guarantee this is a first. Really? Oh, yeah. So she's gonna fly down to Kenny, and this is a this is a pretty big drop here. Kaito is good to go. We're good. Camera's rolling. Ready. Hey. Woo. Oh, there we go. All right, she's flying around. Wow. Up, up, up. I haven't seen Kenny in forever. Kenny's the guy swinging the lure. <laughs> Yay. I mean, that was great. That looked yeah, amazing. That was, that was fantastic. Like, her going down was pretty damn hot. That was, that was sweet. <laughs> I want to as well. <laughs> All right, it is starting to rain, and these birds do not fly in the rain. We managed to get a I don't know why it randomly makes me feel bad started. for the bird. Which I'm part? Really happy about that. The I'm camera really or the flying? That, that, that timing ended up working out really well. 
It was also supposed to rain all day today, and we ended up getting amazing weather for the vast majority of the day. Can't hold a bird like a cat. Okay, so I got the footage up here on the TV. I'm gonna go Both? grab Nick, because Nick has always been there every time we put a camera on some sort of random thing. So I feel like he should see this footage too. First Sorry, of all. I totally got distracted. Really? really? Camera, because it's uncomfortable. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, I haven't seen the camera shrimp? in person, what? No. so hey, what are you... I don't actually know. Oh, forget about that. Forget about that. But, um... Is that good? Do you guys want to finish the video? Or that, I just wanted to see the birds. Um, it's fine. So, I haven't seen the camera in person. Um, they weren't really long flights, and um, it, it, the general rule of thumb is that you can put up to 10% of the body weight on a bird's back when it's flying. Um, these birds, Goose and, and Kaido or Keto, were probably... Uh, probably over 500 grams, and the camera itself is, is only 32. So, um, I got a, yeah, that, that too, Chuck, maybe. I got a bit of, or I got a, I got a message from a guy I went to high school with, um, who I think just found out that I was a streamer, because he is, like, obsessed with Corridor, and he was like, what the heck? Like, what's going on? <laughs> it's like a, um... Did you collab with those guys? Yeah, I was, so they were supposed to come out here and put the camera on Ori and my sponsor's birds. And my sponsor decided that uh, he didn't think the camera was safe enough to put on our birds. Um, so they ended up canceling twice. The first time they were gonna come out was when uh, we got our COVID scare, so they had to reschedule. The second time my sponsor was like, eh. Um, which, is, which is a huge bummer because it would have been really, really cool to see that on Ori, especially because um, of the kind of flights he does, but also, or he's doing some pretty impressive uh, flights where he goes really high and he's diving at, you know, 50 miles an hour. Um, maybe it wouldn't have been as safe, you know, on him. So, uh, because her birds are doing lower flights um, that weren't as crazy, probably okay. They need a bigger bird. Oh, that on a vulture, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nintendo was shot by Skell. <laughs> Give us, 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 give us,